So in this little segment, what we're going to do is just look at a pretty common counter, something that we perhaps take for granted. So in front of me, I have a few different examples of counters, and this is by no means the full range of counters because you can get them in different sizes. So counters might come in 18 millimeters, 22 millimeters, 36 millimeters. They might come in uh, opaque or transparent. They might come in this form, which are stackable counters, so they literally stack on top of one another. They might come with little serrated edges. There's such a variety of counters. So what I wanted to do is just sort of talk a little bit about why you might want to use one counter at one particular time. By the way, they come in you know, a variety of colors as well. So I think there's about 10 colors or 12 colors there. There's at least 10 of those. And sometimes you can get too much variation. So in this case here, I'm going to stick to some pretty basic colors. An example we've already looked at, but still worth uh, reviewing again, is the tens frame. And so you might set a little uh, task. It really wouldn't matter what counter you use in this case here for the tens frame. So we might use these ones. Sometimes though, you might want to stick to all brown counters or all blue counters for a particular task. In this case here, the task might be, show me different ways that you can put five on this board. So in some ways, they might just put five like this. So that's one way of showing five. Another way of showing five would be to have the five counters sitting along the top. Well, that's two ways to show five. Well, here's another way to show five. Here's another way to show five. You could see that you could be doing quite a lot of reasoning about all the different ways to show five. So that would be an example of a use of counters. We'll look at another one in a minute.